Hello and welcome to the Blair Witch Project 2. <laughs> there already is a Blair Witch Project 2, I just remembered. It's a Blair Witch Project 3. <laughs> Hola. Hola. I'm Anka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Anka. Yes. Found a an island, um, which is apparently haunted. Uh, there's it's, an ancient cemetery there. There's an ancient cemetery there that has been there since before the Spanish invaded okay i'm sorry i can't keep my brain together right now it's about six kilometers away and we're gonna walk i guess and then we might be able to walk to the island because it's low tide but if it's not low tide we might not be able I'm to tread to the island slash tread to the island wade to the island wade to the island um and maybe just maybe get stuck there and maybe get stuck there and get stuck there and get uh haunted by ancient ghosts and shamanistic spirits and angry spaniards shit i really hope so like i gotta say that's what i'm hoping for that's my ideal scenario i hope that these tapes are found years later um welcome to the blair witch project three okay bye i also wanted to show you that we went to the beach and I had a very successful beach excursion in which I found many, many bones and cool sticks and shells. Oh, I cannot believe this iguana right now. There's a spiky boy on a spiky tree. What's he doing? Oh, there he goes. Dude, he's a fucking good climber. We're in Kabuya. We're in Kabuya. We made it to Kabuya. We hitchhiked. Uh, uh, it went well. We didn't have to walk, and I didn't want to, so <laughs> that was good. And there is no land bridge, so Anka's idea is, hey, I've got long legs. I could probably just march across the ocean. So we're gonna see how this goes. You know, it's gonna be a good time. Okay, we're in this fucking water, and I shit you not, it is hot as bathtub water. Like, I'm actually in a warm bath right now. I can't believe this. All right, Moses, I'm ready. Do your thing. Okay, so um, here's the fucking thing. Uh, we're getting to this island one way or goddamn another, so I'm gonna have to put this phone into like two plastic bags and then put it in my backpack and we're probably just gonna swim across. So, uh, you're not gonna see this part and I'm sorry about that, but you'll know what happens if we are successful. Bye. Well, we did that, folks. And we also did that without any shoes on. So my feet, just a little bit bloody, just a little bit. But we're fine, it's fine. We're going to the cemetery. Are those, those are vultures. Oh! 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Majestic. Oh my god. It's like we don't notice anything until it moves, and then once it moves, it's like, oh, there's a lizard. Like, there's a vulture. It's just like unbelievably beautiful around here. Like, there's just no denying it. I don't know, I just feel like, I don't think this place is really haunted. Like the animals seem to be chilling out and the yeah, graves seem- Yeah, protected, protected by the animals. Protected, but yeah. But like, not threatening. Stone. He said if you look through them, you can like see spirits. We should go through the cemetery. Yeah, we'll go through the cemetery, see if we see anything. Okay, so my hagstone broke immediately. That was very short lived. I'm sad. Snacky, 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 snacky on the beach. Good news, found another hagstone. Um, so I am content. We're getting ready to go real quick because the tide is coming in and you know, we fucking walked through a underwater land bridge to get here. So it's just gonna get deeper and harder to get through. So we gotta move, yeah? Before it's... And, yeah. It's okay, not trapped on the island yet. Not trapped on the island yet. It looks way deeper. Way deeper. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Alright, well, I'm gonna put this phone in the plastic bags and then in the backpack again. Anka is gonna walk them. Um, I'm a little nervous. But we're gonna do our best, so I'll see you on the other side, hopefully. Okay, I 100% wish I was fucking kidding right now. Anga and I tried to swim back with the bag on, and it's way too deep and way too far. So I am so serious. We are fucking trapped on this cemetery island. Get stuck there. Like, I know I was joking before, I swear on my life. This is not like, a, oh, I'm trying to reenact the fucking Blair Witch Project 3. Like, truly, we are stuck. We have Anka's bright orange sarong, which we've been waving around trying to get someone's attention. And we also have a orange metallic chip bag, which we have put on the end of a stick. And we're trying to signal someone. I'm gonna have to swim. No, Anka, please don't. Like, there, we, don't, we don't know what's out there. It literally could be a riptide. It's like at least a, half a mile. And like, it's we just not safe. Here. We walked out here, I can swim back. It was so much easier without the stuff. I really fucking don't think so, dude. Like, it. we can just wait till midnight. Like, that's okay. Low tide, low tide is at midnight. So like, worst case scenario, we just fucking wait and then walk back in the dark. But I think that someone will fucking see us. I fucking can't believe this is happening right now. But we'll keep trying, so we'll see. Wait a no, wave, wave at them. Oh no, bro, what's coming? Fuck, you gotta come this way. Oh, I think he sees you. Oh my God, I literally can't believe this fucking shit is happening right now. There are people. There are people on a boat out there. Oh yes, 
Oh, he's fucking coming. We're literally the dumbest assholes on the planet. <laughs> I can't fucking believe us. He's coming though, we're rescued. Okay, so um, we're off the island. <laughs> the guy finally saw us waving our little flags and came and got us. Um, literally every fisherman on that beach laughed at us on our way out, which was hilarious. But did you die? Did we die? No. no. Fine. I'm super disappointed that I didn't get my Wilson moment. Wilson! 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 Like, just like, screaming on an island. With your bloody volleyball? With my bloody volleyball. We had such little water, like that was like, that was my biggest concern, is because low tide was at midnight, and so we would have to have waited like many, many hours on that island before we could have walked off there. And um, we had like, I don't know, less, definitely less than a liter of water between the two of us, and it was like really much in direct sunlight. And, um, yeah. I did say I wanted to camp on the island, but I would have like packed water and food and shelter before I went, not just been there like in my fucking wet Trapped. clothes, trap with island. no water. Like that would have been fucking bad. But yeah, it was a little bad. Thank God for your orange sarong. Yeah, good thing. We're it was like ready. the perfect signaling. And too, I, when I was there, I was like, which one should I go for, the black one <laughs> or the bright orange one? No fucking. Something told me. Actually taking a video of you already. Oh cool. Like, oh, you have a friend! Oh my god, my friend! I a friend! Who are you? Hi, buddy! In the road. I'm in the road. Buddy's in the road. Come here! Maybe we hike? No? I don't got started. Hi. Hi. You're a next little pup. Alright. We are currently in the back of this guy's truck. Okay, you ready for some classic shit here? So, you know, we almost just like drowned today and got stuck on a haunted island and had to hitchhike back and everything like that. Um, but what's even better is when we were swimming and almost drowning is our keys got soaked. And so we can't disarm the alarm in our place, so we're just locked out of our house now. We're salty, dirty, sweaty, hungry, and we can't go home. <laughs> because a lot of today's events involved swimming, I didn't like actually get to record what was happening like we did try to get off the island we gave it our all and then like just completely failed at it and i couldn't record any of that so you just see me kind of like cut from being like we can do this but well, we can't do this <laughs> we didn't do it <laughs> we didn't do it so we're just gonna fucking kind of talk about what happened i guess just to describe it we Water made it pretty far because it took a while to get back I think because the tide was against us, dude. Okay, that may be true, yeah. There's like this very narrow strip of land that like would normally connect the island to the mainland, but basically the tide was way too strong and was like knocking us off of that, so we kept ending up in water that we couldn't stand up in. And so like, Anka had been treading water with one arm and holding the backpack. And then Anka like suddenly turns around and looks at me and goes, I can't stand anymore. We need to go back. When we started swimming back to the island after we had turned around, there were like a couple of trade-off periods where like I would take the backpack and then Anka would take the backpack and then I would take the backpack. But she was like keeping it out of the water and I just, it was in the water in like 0.2 seconds, I swear to God. Like I dropped it instantly. And I was just like, oh, it floats. But what I didn't realize was it was only floating because the um, clothing in it had not like saturated with water yet. 
And so it was just like slowly getting heavier and heavier. I don't know, it was just scary swimming back, like truly. I got scared once we were on the island. Cause it was like, now we're, okay, now we made it back. But what are we gonna do here? Yeah. <laughs> just die with the fucking spirits? <laughs> the way this video is edited, like, it seems like we're on that island, then we get off that island immediately. You think it's only 20? I think it was shorter than that. I think it was okay. shorter than 20 minutes? No, shorter than 40 for sure. Okay. Compromise on 30 then. We were there for about, we were about half minutes. an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were rescued by a nice man. Yeah. In a boat. How am I supposed to focus on anything when there's three adorable tiny kittens running around? Like, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna need to take a break for kittens. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs>